Liz is behind the camera, you guys. There's a lot of mullet here. I want to hey show guys. you guys. There you go. Liz is saying, hey, want to show you how to throw a cast in. I haven't thrown it in a while. This is a brand new net, a prototype for uh, some nets that we're launching. So let's see if we can get it untangled. Let's go get on these mullet real quick. And mullet are a good tarpon bait and good shark bait, barracuda, kingfish, stuff like sailfish eats them too. But we'll try to throw this first and catch them. And if I get them, then I'll show you how to, how to throw the cast net. And if we're really lucky, we'll get Joey to show us because he throws it better than me. But if I can open it, we'll be good. All right, they're up there right now. So double, I guess that triple O because we got three loops there. We're going to spread it out in thirds about. Maybe 25% I would say. Going up on my shoulder like that. Put this loop in here. I don't remember the last time I threw a cast net. It's probably been a few months. Then we're going to put about another third in here. So. so we got about a third here, a third there, and a third there. Maybe 25%. But pinch the lead line like that with its fingers. Hold it like that. We're going to go up here and throw it. Follow me to the bow. See if we get some mullet. Oh, they're out here, guys. Look at all the mullet in the water. They are out. Don't fall over on me. See all the mullet guys? Oh, a tarpon's chasing them. We've got to throw this thing and open it. Here we go, you guys. You saw the mullet. We need a pancake. Oh, the bird just scared them. The birds will do that too. The birds will scare them. Here we go. Wait for them to, we got to wait for them to school back up. Look at there all they are mullet. right there. Here we go. I need them to get them grouped up. They're kind of split up. The tarpon are chasing them and the birds chasing them. Ah, oh, oh, big tarpon in the middle of them. Here we go, here they come. One, two, three. We got a pancake. Nice, Nick. Hopefully we got mullet in there. I see some. I can see him, I feel yep. him. Here they come. Now I gotta be careful, my brother Ricky, he loves catching tarpon. He'll come over and grab these things. Now it wasn't as many as you would have thought, but really because they're on the run from all those tarpon. Oh yeah, There's about 10 mullet. mullet. Those are beautiful silver mullet there. Look at those babies. We're going to go throw them in the live hole for the time being. See if we get one more throw on them. Catch a few more mullet. So we got a few there. It's tarpon season here right now as well for the intro guys. So they'll so use these both live and dead for them. Let's go see if we can catch a few more though. So we got the net on the ground. And we want to stretch it out. So we're going to get the horn of the crown of the net you know it's got two names i'm going to slide it up like that shake this thing out make sure it's not tangled up a lot of times when you throw it and you pull it in it'll get tangled up and cross a little bit start coiling up our rope i'm right-handed and it really depends on how you throw the net you know if you learn one way or the other but i coil a rope with my left hand and a foot long drop so about two feet total maybe get the horn of the net the crown right there Pinch it in your hand, stretch the net out. Do one uh, loop there like that. One more loop like this, you know, about high as your waist. Just like that, 25 to 30%. I want it coming right off the side though, so here we go. There's about 25% of the net. Underneath, on top of your shoulder like that. Oh, here come the mullet again, we gotta get them. The birds are on them now. Open here again. Just like that, another 25% or so, 30%. I pinch the lead line in my fingers like that. Just like that, and this is I think a 10, I don't think it's a 12, I think it's a 10. Here we go, let's try to get you a few more though. Oh, they're pretty thick right now. See them all down there guys? Here we go. One, I'm gonna get a little momentum going. Two, three. Just nice. like that, so you want a pancake. Mullet are fast there though, they, they, they see the net coming. I got some, but for as many mulleters here, you know, I'm getting some, but I'm not getting as many as you'd think. I've had, oh, a tarpon's chasing the net up. Yeah, it is. Got another dozen there, so maybe 14, 15. We got more mullet. Oh, we got mullet. We got mullet. Hey Liz, we can take these to the Bahamas for Blue Marlin. Let's do it. This could be the teaser baits. That's right. These are gonna be prime mullet. We can use those for swordfish too. Ooh, look at that one, he jumped out. All right, let's go try one more. How you doing? Hi, remember, I'm George Harold's friend. I'm gonna show you had to prime the 34 and you had to find the 37. 
Did you? Do you have a deposit down or did you get your boat yet? Oh, no, I bought it. Yeah, that's why I ended up getting it used because there was nothing else immediately available. Awesome. Well, congratulations. That's quite the ride, ain't it? Yeah, I bought it actually a couple months after um, you know you drove down there. I was going to get a 234, but then I found that 37, so. Yep, now you don't have to worry about upgrading. Well, man, I, I love the 37. I know a friend of mine's getting a 42, but. Right. It's just time to get new motors, but you can't get them. They're back where I got. Almost 1,300 hours on these, supposed to get new ones, they're still seven months out, they told me, so. Well, congrats on the boat there, hope that you like it. Well, thanks, brother, I just saw you some No days, problem, so. good to see you again, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying your time down here. Yeah, yeah. man, it's awesome. Sorry to interrupt your mullet fishing. Not at all, it's great. You're spooking them towards me, actually, it's good. <laughs> Teamwork. Yep. <laughs> he got a uh, 37 Freemus, that's good to hear. I took him on a sea trial on a 34, and hopefully I talked him into a 37. You know he's having fun with that boat. Alrighty. They're all down deep. I want them to come up higher to the surface. Here they come. Here they come. And a bigger hole sinks faster with more lead. This is just like a medium sized hole and medium amount of lead. So it's not sinking as fast as it could. But here they come right here. Let's try to get them. We got a few. And that's what you want. You want pancakes and circles. We don't want bananas. We only want bananas to eat for snacks and uh, you know, stuff like that. This is what we want. So, you know, I'm just going to drop these here. And I ain't going to go back there and put them alive because we're going to use these jack. Nice silver mullet, though. You know, get out any knots in there. We try to keep it all even. That way everything's even on the net. Get your horn, crown, whatever you want to call it. Pull it up like that. And I'm doing, uh, I believe they call it a triple load. So we got one pinch here. There's our second load. Here's our triple load here. Just like that. And if your hands are small and you can't get all the way around the net, just do two loops, you know, and make them a little bit longer. That works too. Grab right off the side of the net here. Here we go. We need one more shot on these things. And I got my buddy Niles coming into town. He's gonna try to do a little tarpon fishing, so he'll have a few baits. And um, I know my brother will take them if I'm not looking either, because he loves catching tarpon. So here we go. One last throw. And when I throw this thing, you know, I get it moving like this, pull it back, swing it forward, and spread my arms open. And um, that's kind of the, the key and the trick to it. One, two, three. And they're used to predators coming from the top, like birds, and then tarpon and other predators will come down from the bottom. All those mullets swimming around, I only got two, which means you need a faster sinking net. So heavier lead and bigger holes, you'd catch more for sure. But there you guys go. That's how to throw a cast. And oh, look at that. We got a little mangrove snapper in there. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that little snapper. If Sadie was here, she'd like to catch him. <laughs> so sometimes you even get a snapper in the net. And we got to be careful he don't bite us. That's where they get their name snapper from. He's out. So he's obviously undersized. We're going to let him go. Look at him snapping. Mangrove snapper, a gray snapper. They got the dark bar by their eyes. We'll let him go. Joey. <laughs> I get to be YouTube famous? You're going to be YouTube famous. Shut you up. You guys, Joey and his guys, they crushed the maize. They got bags full of meat there. Lots of fish for the freezer. We got special guests here. What's your name? Danielle. Danielle. Yep. And Robbie. And Robbie. Your son watches some of the videos? He watches your videos. They're checking to say, hey, you guys. So come on down here. Go fishing with Joey. You guys had fun? Yeah, of course. Great time. You, you got to say, standing right there. Yeah. <laughs> now they had a beautiful weather. Oh, they got really? plenty of fish for dolphin. and. Uh, they did good, so they gave me some swordfish, uh, some dolphin belly for swordfish baits. That was good. So thank you. Thank you. Was this what was lunch today? Yeah. Uh, that was a snack. There you go. There's the lunch snacks right there. <laughs> Joy traded it for mine. So. That's it. <laughs> well, enjoy the fish. We'll see you guys later. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's go hang that cast net up. I want to show you guys that too, actually. So we just threw the net a bunch of times. You know, got quite a few mullet. We want to hang this net. There's seaweed in it. There's you know dead fish in it, stuff like that. We want to shake it all out. And if you got somewhere you can put the net up, that's good. Instead of hooking the hook, you know, whatever you got to pull it up there, the clip around the horn here, just so you don't tear the monofilament, I'm going to go around a couple times like this and just put a little half hitch in here with the handle of the rope with the uh, cast net line, just like that. And that'll pull this up, snap it on right to here. And you'll see the guys, if you come down here to the dock, either they'll have the cast nets, pretty most, most of the boats wash them out every day. You know, when they catch live bait, there's not always live bait around. But they'll put them on their fishing rack, they'll hang up the horn on one side and stretch it out just to clean it, hang it, wash it. 
And if you're throwing on chum, you know, we weren't using any chum there, but say you're using chum for pilchers, cigar minnows, pinfish, whatever, um, you know, the chum can be stinky and nasty and gross if it sits in there. So that's another reason to wash it. But let's pull this up here. And we're gonna spread out the fresh water too, you know? And this way, next time we go to knead it, you know, we need it next time to throw it, we'll be good to go. All I'm gonna do is start pulling that like this, kind of shake it a little bit, and you'll see that seaweed start falling out. And if there's chum in it, you know, a little piece of fish, you can pick them out that way. So, you can see that piece of seaweed right there. Kind of shake it, maybe we'll grab it, rip it on out of there. Just like that, so. And also, these are called braille lines on the inside of the net. Clear them on a filament like that, that's the braille line. Sometimes they get twisted up like that, so you want to clear your braille lines, unwrap it, fold the leads outside of there. These are going to be our stands casting us, we've been working on them. We're going to have different sizes, I believe from 8 to 12 foot. I don't know if we're going to go to 6 footer and we'll have different mesh sizes. Love. This is like my medium size, you know, which is good for pilchers. The mullet, a little bit bigger net would be better. Glass minnows or small bait, you know, a smaller mesh will be better. So we'll have all that when they come in, we're still a month or two out everything's taking longer the rods the nets the clothing but we're getting it it's coming so let's keep going here you guys and keep cleaning it out i'm going to spray it with fresh water real quick and this net will be nice and clean now you know so whether you got your fishing tackle your boat just take care of it you know do all that so here we go spraying it out like that make it nice and clean for next time So that's how to throw a cast net. Hope you guys liked that video. Hit that like button, make sure you subscribe. We're coming up on 150,000 subscribers. That's gonna be our big giveaway. Trip with me, a trip with Sarah, staying at the marina for a few nights and uh, one of y'all is gonna win it. So that'll happen here in the next few months, I assume, hopefully sooner than later. If you guys want a Stan's hat, check out the website, stansfishing.com. Brand new hats came in, super comfortable. Moisture wicking, sweat band built in. This is a puff print right there. Got our logo, private labeling and all that. So very comfortable hat. We got our uh, prototypes of our hooded shirts came in right here. Logo driven, so just our logo. We got Stan's fishing on one sleeve, Alamara right down the other. There you go, watch this, whoosh. So I can pretend to throw my hand over them and they see that coming, whoosh, and they move away. You can move your hand like that and they see it. So they're always looking above, watching out for predators, so. Don't mess it up, you're on camera. Oh no! Dude, 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 dude. Wow, go, 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 you got the sargasm. You got the sargasm, and he got the net. What? You got him. Yes. Twenty-five pounds of mullet and twenty pounds of seaweed. Oh, you got a couple. Don't get my boat all dirty. Freddie, we can take these more than I got the other day. Let's take these back to haul over. Oh, they're jumping. <laughs> that one just jumped out of the net. There's some mullet there. <laughs> Nothing like netting bait off the bow of the Freeman. Who's gonna clean that thing now? Who's gonna clean that thing? <laughs>